Hi everybody. Um, last week we learned how to install a program from a CD. This week we're going to learn how to download a program from the internet. When downloading a program from the internet, you got to make sure that you are downloading it from a safe and secure website. Um, one of the uh, website that is 100% virus free is www.download.com so today we're going to download Mavis Speaker from there to do so first you're going to go on Internet Explorer you're going to left click on Internet Explorer to open a brand new window if your window appears small like this all you have to do is make sure you click on the maximize button to maximize it to full screen Next, make sure you click on the address bar to type in the website. Again, the website is www.download.com. Done. Hit enter. Download.com. Ensure that all their program on here is 100% virus free and malware free. So looking on the right hand side you'll see that the top two most popular download from here is the avast free antivirus and the avg antivirus free 2012. you can if you're looking for a free antivirus protection program you can pick either of these one you do not need to download both you just need to make sure that you have one antivirus protection program on your computer before you start serving the web. You can also see that number th four on the list is malware bite anti-malware program. What's the difference between a virus protection program and a malware protection program? Virus can replicate itself. So what that means that if my computer is infected and I save something on a flash drive and I take it to your computer, your computer is now infected with the same virus that I have. On the other hand, malware do not replicate itself. Um, so if I have a malware on my computer, I plug in a flash drive and I save something to it and I take it to your computer, your computer will not be affected by the same malware that I have on my computer. What does malware do? Uh, malware are more annoying than anything. Uh, malware usually affects the uh, internet. Um, so something that might happen if you have a malware is that you get pop-up windows a lot. Um, another thing that might happen if you have a malware on a computer is let's say you try to go to yahoo.com and every time you do it it takes you to a web a different website. Well, those would be malware problem. Um, but we are not going to do a antivirus protection program or anti-malware on this computer. It's already been protected by uh, programs. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to find and download Mavis Beacon onto our computer. First thing first is make sure you got the correct platform. We run on Windows 7. so. I have Windows already checked. If you use um, an Apple computer, make sure you have Mac checked. Next is type in what program you're looking for. I'm looking for Mavis Beacon. So type in Mavis Beacon. And then I could hit enter or click on the search button right here. Within a second, the results should so show up on your screen. But be careful, there are advertising everywhere. So if you see ads, do not click on these that are under ads or if you see these here with says sponsored products these are not maybe speaking either so do not click on these what we want to do is go down a little bit further and here it is it says three software downloads results for maybe speaking and these are the three listed on the bottom the first one is maybe speaking teaches typing 17 deluxe um, the next one uh, the second one is Mavis Beacon teaches typing deluxe 20 and the last one on there which is not a Mavis Beacon product but it is a typing program called Typer Shark Deluxe. 
you can determine which one you want to download by looking at um, the user rating. The user rating are people who uses it and also the editor's rating. The editor's rating, ra ratings are those that created the programs. We're going to go with the Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing 17 Deluxe. What we're going to do next is we're going to click on download now. Um, sometimes when you and when you click on it, down here on the bottom, uh, says, do you want to run or save this program from this website? And then on the bottom here, it says, this type of file could harm your computer. What it's saying is that you are downloading a file from a website, um, and usually you should not trust any website when you, you know, you should not trust just any website when downloading. But we know that download.com is 100% virus free and 100% malware free. So we can trust them um, when in terms of um, saving files from this website. You can click on save to save the file, um, but you wouldn't know where it is saving to. So better yet is to tell it where to save. Uh, to tell it where to save, you would click on the drop down menu and tell it save as. So when you click on save as, it actually tells you where it is saving to. They've decided that it will be best to save it under a folder called downloads. And this is the file name that they're going to save it to. If you are both, you're okay with both the location and the file name, all you have to do is click on save. Because I have saved this previously, uh, what it is asking me to do is, do I want to overwrite the old one and put this new one on there? I'm going to say yes. Once you save it, the next thing is that they're asking you is if you want to run the program now or do you want to just open it and look at it? What we want to do is we want to run it. So I'm going to click on run. Sometimes when you click on run, a um, there might be a pop-up from Windows 7 saying that, hey, you are making some changes to your computer. Is it okay for this website to put some changes onto your computer? Make sure you say yes, and then it will continue its way. It is preparing for your installation, so we're going to wait. So now we're ready to install. First thing is telling you that CNET, which is download.com, uh, host this file so they are the one who's who is um, transferring the file to you and it has already been scanned to make sure that it does not have virus and it is spyware free so you, they're saying you're good to download it the next thing you should notice is also the file size the file size is quite large 380.2 megabytes um, if you do not have that much open space you might not be able to download this file so next thing we're going to do is I'm going to click on next step to continue. It is now downloading the file onto my computer. It will take quite some time to download this file being 380.2 megabytes. Uh, how fast it download really depends on your internet speed. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to pause this video um, until it is almost done and I will continue in a little bit.